Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. Today, I'm gonna show you how to hand sew like a sewing machine. That's right, we are gonna make a nice secure stitch like a sewing machine. And in hand sewing, this is called the back stitch. If you wanna hand stitch clothing, this is the stitch for you because it is nice and strong and people have been using this stitch for hundreds of years, so you know it's a good one. The stitch is super easy, so grab your hand sewing needle and some thread and let's do it. So I'm gonna pull off a few feet of thread. And now when I do this, I want to use a double thread so it's nice and strong. So it's one piece of thread, but we are going to line up the thread tails and then make a knot. So I've got both of my thread tails there, so I'm gonna grab them. Now I'm gonna show you the best knot trick ever. So what we do is we take the tails of the thread and we are going to place it under my thumb and my pointer finger. And then I'm going to take the end of the thread here that's closest to the tip of the needle, wrap it around the tip of the needle about four times, pull it back under my thumb and my pointer finger, holding everything there. I'm going to pull the needle with my other hand, just keep pulling, 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 pulling. And then when I pull back, we have a knot. Got a little caught, no big deal. Let's just cut off the extra. And now we have a knot at the bottom of our thread. And if you wanna see an in-depth video on how to thread that needle and tie that knot, make sure you check out my video very specifically on that. Now that we're all threaded up, let's get sewing like a sewing machine. So we're gonna sew up a half inch seam over here. And if you're having trouble sewing straight, especially hand sewing straight can be real tricky, get some chalk and a ruler and let's draw our seam allowance on. So that way we have a line to follow when we are sewing. And now we know exactly where we need those stitches. I've also put some pins in to hold my layers together. Now, when we start, we're gonna start from the bottom up, following right next to that chalk line. Now, we don't just wanna go in and out and in and out and in and out. There's a little trick to this. So now what we wanna do is go behind the stitch. Now, it depends how wide you want your stitch length, right? How long you want your stitch length. So I'm gonna do about an eighth of an inch. So we're gonna go behind the stitch. And now what we're gonna do is come up on the other side of the stitch about an eighth of an inch away. And pull. There we go, we got our first stitch in there. So now what we do is we're going to come back. We're always gonna stitch backwards. That's why it's called the back stitch. And we don't wanna go exactly right in that hole. We wanna go just like right in front of it by like a little fiber so we have some extra stability. And now we're just gonna come out on the other side of the stitch over here, an eighth of an inch. So you can see we're starting to end up with little stitches on the front and on the back. If you're enjoying how to sew like a sewing machine by hand, make sure you subscribe to Sewing Anastasia and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. Now let's get back to hand sewing like a sewing machine. Now I'm gonna work my way all the way down the seam, stitching back to front, back to front, back to front, and it's gonna make a nice secure stitch. So we are back to front and we pull. Back to front and pull. So you can see how easy this is. It is so easy. You guys got this. I know you do. You can just start hand sewing your entire wardrobe. So couture of you. So now I'm in a little rhythm and I've got my stitch length here figured out and we are off to the races. Okay, so what do you do when you start to run on a thread? Well, you gotta knot off and then start a new needle and thread. So what we can do is just take a little bit of the fabric and before you fully pull your needle, take the needle and go through the loop, make a little knot, and I like to do this twice. 
go ahead and cut. And then let's go ahead and start a new needle. So now I'm going to start on the back, coming up right where I knotted. And now I'm just gonna continue. So we're just gonna continue our back stitch. So one last stitch. There we go, we've completed our seam, but now we've got to knot off. So I'm just gonna wrap this around the edge, take my needle, go through the loop, and I'm gonna do this a couple times. And now it is nice and secure, and we can cut. Look at that, we did it. We have stitched a line front and back, just like a sewing machine. And look at how strong this stitch is when we pull it open. So the front has a nice seam, and then our back has our seam allowance, which then we can just go ahead and iron it open and just have a normal seam, just like we did it on the sewing machine. But we didn't, we stitched it by hand. So cool. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. I hope you enjoyed stitching like a sewing machine. So fun and easy, right? Anybody can do this, so cool. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think of this hand sewing technique. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And if you don't follow me on Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all those social media websites, make sure you check me out so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And I would love to see what you've been working on lately, so make sure you tag me in your projects so that way I can reshare them and share your creativity with everyone as well. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois. You can take them in person or virtually. Check those out at SewingTheStage.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.